everyone, I'm Haley from the Tinny Chronicles, and today I'm going to be showing you how to travel with your chinchilla. Let's get started! So first you'll need a travel cage, like this, and it should be about this size. If it's smaller, it should only be for like really small trips, but this is like really good for like longish trips, but always go a little bit bigger if you're going to be like going on an eight hour trip or something like that, or a little shorter. But this is good for like a couple hours, you know, or so. So I'll teach you how I set it up, which I absolutely love. I feel like she doesn't really like this cage because it's super small, but when he's in a new environment, he's fine. So he, he's okay with it. So let me teach you how to do that first. So the first thing I do is take off the top of the cage and then you know, remove it. Oh, sorry. And by the way, this cage is by Great Choice. If you were wondering. And then I, sorry, I'm trying not to show my face. Okay, and then I put the fleece on. My fleece is too small, so I use two different layers. A long one for these sides. And then I just pat it down and try to have like the most room as possible and make it even. Oh, why is there a flower crown? So I do that first, and then push it down, make sure it's even. Both sides are even. Do that. It'll be secure by the cage though, so don't worry. And then because this side, these sides are too short, I use this other piece of fleece to reinforce it so he can't chew on the plastic, which he actually has. He's been able to dig through the fleece when I only have the one piece and chew on it a little. I caught him just in time before he did real damage, but it's really not good. Now that you have your base, you can add houses, a food dish, whatever if you're only putting him in it, him or her in it, to clean the cage and such, or, you know, because you're just moving him and it's temporarily. But mine isn't, so I'm gonna put the top back on. And if you remember, there are these little tab, tab things, I think that's what they're called. And I need to line it up so it'll stay in place, so, you know, it doesn't go falling when we're in the car and he just jumps out and just has free room in the car. I'm just gonna fix this side so you can't see me. Like that. Okay, and then I'll find the ridge thing or whatever tab. I don't know what you call it. Sorry, I'm awkward. And then when it's done, which it is meant for me, maybe for you, because you're faster, you can start with any other accessories that you hang and such. For me, I use this really cheap hammock that I got at Cahoots Pet Store. It's not the best, but he doesn't really chew on it. The thing I did was I cut the tag off so he can chew on that. So yeah, it's pretty much safe. But if you notice that yours chews on it, then take it off right away because that is not safe. So right now, I'm just going to be clipping it on so he can have a little hammock if we, when we go traveling again or when I have to drop him off at my grandma's so he can be watched. You're probably leaving right now because this is boring, but oh well. So when I'm done setting this up, I'll just scatter a few toys in so you can chew on them. Which he usually does. You know, like so. Just scatter them in. Doesn't matter where you put them. And then so he doesn't get too stressed out, I put this long piece of fleece 
this over the top and these sides. So when you're finished setting up the cage, it should look somewhat like this for me if you want to copy it, but you can pretty much do your own thing. But the next step is when you put them in the car, you also, I forgot to mention it, but you'll want to put a chinchilla in there in case they get hot. You'll want to put them in the front seat in front of the air conditioning and have that on full blast in case they get hot. And do not leave them in the car whatsoever, okay? Because it'll get hot and they'll have a heat stroke and die, which is not good at all. I mean, you don't want your animal to die, do you? No, because it would be your fault and you would be devastated, or at least I would be. So you want to get them used to the travel cage. So pretty much when you're changing the fleece liners in your cage or just cleaning your cage, with whatever, just put your chinchilla in here for like 30 minutes or an hour, but make sure they have food and water. And you can do it like during the day when they're like half asleep, so they don't really care, so they can just sleep in here because they're not active during the day, they're crepuscular, you know, active at dawn and dusk. So that works, and just move them around in different areas of your room or your house in this cage. So, oh my god, those my neighbors. So they get used to being in different areas in this cage, because that's what's going to happen. You know, when you're traveling, you'll be in the car, you'll be, you know in a different area, you know. I keep saying you know a lot because I don't have a script, but yeah. So just keep them in this cage during the day. A day or two before you go, you take them to wherever you need to take them, like the vet or whatever, so they just know that this is okay and it's you're not ditching them or anything. Yeah, I think that's all. I don't really know what to say anymore, but this is pretty much the basics on how to travel with your chinchilla. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more information on your lovely, adorable, verbal pets. Goodbye.